What is up, everybody? Today, I'm talking about from a casual perspective as to why I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! has had a hard time attracting new players. Obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh! has been around for over 25 years now, celebrating their anniversary, and I think they've been doing a great job with the whole celebrating the anniversary thing. They've released some outstanding products, quarter of the century rares. I think overall, the community has been very happy about that, re-releasing all the original sets. You know, I think that is great. Overall, I really think they've been on it with terms of marketing and stuff like that. Or, you know, over... But, however, that does leave the elephant in the room of the actual game. Now, the, you know, kind of meme thing to say is, oh, yeah, just look at the text on the cards. You know, there's just so much text to read, so much text. Like, you know, look at look at this. That is it. Like, look at how much text is on that card. Like, look at this. Look at this. And, yes, it is a little ridiculous, but they're not... They are far from the only game like that. You know, look, this is a magic card. Look at that. Bond's just a little bigger. Still a lot to address, still a lot to look at, still a lot to understand. Have you read Thassa's Oracle? Like, that that card has a lot. But what I, you know, but what I think Yu-Gi-Oh! has the biggest problem of is it is overwhelming. There's a lot going on. Like, it just shoves it in your face all at once. And especially if you're playing at a competitive level, it is just like, what what the heck is happening? You know, like a lot of just quick things happening, you know, turns taking forever. You were just kind of sitting there like, you know, I, I have, I get this way sometimes I play against like com competitive, you know, Magic Commander decks, which is like, I, I'm not even going to fact check you. I'm just going to believe what you're saying and then I'm going to move on, you know, just because that, you know, and I think Magic has that same issue sometimes with just like, you know, the power creep has got to the point where it's just like, you know, it's hard to understand everything going on. You know, there's just so many, so many rules, so many different cards, so many different cards that allow certain things, don't allow certain things. It is understandably very overwhelming. I think the biggest problem, biggest problem, also shout out to Team APS for inspiring this video. I'll leave a link to theirs in the description. They give a much more detailed thing on it because they're, you know, much more involved in the game and community than I am. But just, you know, I think the biggest issue that, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! has is the lack of other formats. A lack of, you know, simpler formats. I think GOAT format is great. Honestly, I think I'm getting in, I might get into it. I would compare, you know, that to something similar to, you know, like, Pioneer in Magic, you know, or just any 60 card, any 60 card format in Magic, really. You know, it's just... It's a lot easier to comprehend. You're not, you know, you're not pulling off some nonsense, you know, turn one going infinite. I think in some rare cases you can, but, you know, when I you play Pioneer and Magic, when I have played, you know, when, when I've played a few times I've played Standard or Modern, it's a much simpler game to understand. It's a lot less on the board. It's a lot easier to take in. It's, you know, just not as overwhelming. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is missing that. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! needs some things where, you know, certain formats with things just, there's not as much happening in a given turn. You know, certain times, you know, in Magic, you just want some, you know, Commander's obviously the most popular. I love Commander. have a lot of debts for Commander. Because there's also a lot of different ways to play. I'll get to that point in a second. So, but, here, but right now, you know, if, if you know, com Commander is too overwhelming for me, I can switch to, you know, Popper, Pioneer, you know, a 60 card format. Where it's just land, pass. Tap tap my two lands, summon a creature, pass. You know, it's just, it's, there's more to it than that, but at the same time, it's just easier to understand. Games, there's a little more interaction going on, there's a little more back and forth, you know? And Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't have that. And so I think that's, that's the big thing. And also, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh!, not to say that there's not a lot of ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, there's a crazy amount of archetypes and support for said archetypes. There's a crazy amount of things you can do in Yu-Gi-Oh! But only a small percentage of them are, like, competitively viable. And if you, it, just from the outside looking in, because I'm not competitive in Yu-Gi-Oh!, it feels like that there is, you are kind of restricted as to what you want to play if you want to play in a competitive setting. It is that way for Magic 2 to a certain extent, but, you know, there's levels to it all. There's, you know, like, very casual, there's, like, everyone jokes about, but there's, like, the level 7 commander death, there's, you know, the, uh, low-tier CDH, there's the high-end C, competitive C, you know, commander. 
you know, and everything ranging in between. You can build pretty competitive decks that, you know, you can build decks that, you know, you can play casually and be competitive, you know, versus, versus a new deal, like, I mean, but I'll give you a great example. When I go to a store to play Commander, I, it, I seldomly see the same Commanders being run. Like, in a pod, in different rounds, I, it is very rare. Some people might have similar decks, you know, similar, you know, some people might because the commander is popular, but overall, on any given game, like I've never once seen more than one commander at a table. They might have the deck, but a lot of times, you know, the few times I've seen both people have a similar deck, they just kind of mutually say, "All right, I'm gonna play this one. I'll play one of my other ones instead if I have it." So that that I think is great. It's just variety, you know. It's just a taste of something different. And I think that's enough. And you gets repetitive seeing the same thing over and over in the same combos. Like, it's a bit... I mean, I will say in Magic sometimes it does... Like, I mentioned Thassa's Oracle before in terms of, in terms of card tests. I hate that win condition. It's just so overused. I'm not saying it's a bad win condition. I'm not blaming people for playing it. But it's just so overused. I get tired of seeing it. And I think some people in Yu-Gi-Oh! might say the same thing. And, you know, like... You know... And it's another thing. I want to point this out the cards they push they push you know i understand the anime was popular but you know there's more to it than just the anime but the cards you push the cards you emphasize the characters you emphasize and push the most those debts i feel like are not viable if they're not competitive enough you know where people you know to drive the game forward and i think that's another issue you push one thing but then it's not as what you expect it to be. You Yu-Gi-Oh is just missing missing some extra stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh right now has just been one game, one version for so long, and that you know there's not been an, ofi- an official way to go about it since. You know I think they could do so much. You know back in the day, I remember they had a little thing for, for labyrinth duels. That's more of a Dungeons and Dragons style thing. But they, you know, deck matches. I talked about with Speed Duel in my, another video. Also, Speed Duel is great. If you're just wanting some quick, easy, fun Yu-Gi-Oh, it is, Speed Duel is the best. Just play, just play Speed Duel. It's my favorite way to play Yu-Gi-Oh in the modern day. You know, because it's much easier to understand. Turns are not as crazy. And, like, you know, I can't explain everything that I'm doing. I don't think you need, you don't need to call a judge in every 10 seconds in Speed Duel. That's all I'm saying. But, I digress. I think that's what Yu-Gi-Oh needs. Yu-Gi-Oh needs variety in both its overall the game in terms of format and also the competitive scene. You know, it it just it's just getting overwhelming to people, I think, and especially to a new player. You know, especially like to someone like me, I just kind of stop at the five Ds there with Syndra summoning. When I learned about Pendulum su- summoning, that I learned about uh, you know. Link summoning and a Z summoning, like there's so many different things, and you're there's a realistic chance when I played on a played a little bit of Master Duel, like when you see that, there's a realistic chance that you can see all of those things in one turn, one turn, and it's just a lot to comprehend to bring in, and there's just like you you just don't know what to do. And I think that for that, you know, and. A lot of times it feels like in those situations, if they pop off on turn one, all right, what can I do? I don't have anything to stop it, so I just lose. It's just an unfortunate thing. Yu-Gi-Oh could be a great game. Yu-Gi-Oh has, Yu-Gi-Oh has so much, and I'd say overall Konami is a pretty good company. They have overall, they, I think they have overall given the people what they want in terms of product and value. Where you know, But the game itself is missing something. Where... On the opposite end of things, Magic, you know, from a game perspective, has been considered fine overall. The power creep is still there, to a certain extent. You know, don't get me wrong, things are getting freaking crazy. But it's still, you know, much more tame. And again, still have those other formats you can you can jump to if you say, hey, this ain't for me, this is just too much. But Yu-Gi-Oh, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is missing. And, you know, Magic, on the other hand, you know, has been a terrible company recently. So... It's just been a whole lot. I want Yu-Gi-Oh to be good. I want Yu-Gi-Oh to be more approachable. I want to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, but, like, I, I don't know. I just, like, it's just too much for me. Like, I need something else in there. To, like, some, 
you know, I need something else that is Yu-Gi-Oh, but not just regular Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? So, uh, if any of y'all have any ideas, please leave them down below. Let me know what you think. Always have a good day. I appreciate your time. Peace.